Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, we are talking about everyone's favorite new Tier 10 German battleship, the Prussia. Now, yes, I am just saying the Prussia because I'm not going to torture you with my pronunciation of the ship's actual name. And YouTube, for some reason, has decided to demonetize most videos with text-to-speech in them. So we can't have Google Lady pronounce it for us. So that's why I'm saying just Prussia. I got like, I don't know, like 20 or 30 comments on my Prussia review video about that. I just figured I'd spare your ears from the pain. But anyway, like I said in my original Prussia review video, I was going to do a follow-up video with a main battery gun build on the Prussia. And let me tell y'all, this is how you play the ship. Absolutely. Now, in the match you're watching right now, this match is a perfect example of what this ship is so good at. Stern in on the all flank and tanking while still being able to get most of your guns on target while staying mostly angled. And you'll see this ship does phenomenally well in this position in this match. So the build I'm running on the ship now, I'll throw it up on the screen here. I'm running main armaments mod 1 and the first mod slot instead of secondary armaments mod 1. This of course increases the survivability of the main battery turrets and that's what we're building into so we want those to stay around now. Of course damage con 1 because fires suck and this decreases our chance of, call of uh, getting set on fire. And aiming systems mod 1 that will decrease your main battery shell dispersion which you certainly need on, on the Prussia. If you guys haven't seen it yet just go take a look at my... Uh, pressure review video and you can see how wonky that dispersion is without this module on there now it's still pretty wonky it's not a tremendous amount better but it is better and actually we took damage con 2 next this de uh, decreases your fire and flooding recovery time which is again very good when you're stern and tanking then concealment system mod 1 to get the ship's concealment down and then finally main battery mod 3 this is a godsend on the Prussia this decreases the main battery reload time by 12 percent which means that you now have on Prussia's 8 18 inch guns you have a 21.1 second reload time before adrenaline rush kicks in on 8 18 inch guns before Adrenaline Rush kicks in. You'll see toward the end of this video, I have something like a 17 second reload time on these guns. That's insane. This is short horse levels of DPM. And if you're wondering about that, how good that is, go watch yesterday's video when we talk about the short horse. Now, I did also swap a uh, fighter for spotter. That way we could get that extra range when we needed to do so, especially on a kiting flank. That's something you will need, and that does help the ship out a lot more in Tier 10 games. Now, for the commander, I'm not running uh, Luchins on here at the moment um, because I didn't want to pay to reset him and then retrain a commander on here. So I just grabbed my commander that I was running on Sharnworth yesterday and plopped him on here. So we have preventive maintenance. Again, we keep those main battery guns in the fight. This gives you a 30% uh, well, 30% reduction in the chance of those modules getting knocked out. And then grease the gears to kind of negate the downsides of the reload module. Then we want to take Adrenaline Rush because, again, with Adrenaline Rush and this ship tanking and taking damage, you're going to get that reload down really, really freaking quick. Then I took, uh, well, take your choice of going for your first four point skill emergency repair expert, concealment expert, or fire prevention. You're going to wind up taking all three of these because this will increase the survivability of your Prussia quite a bit. With, of course, Emergency Repair Expert, that's Poor Man's Superintendent, that gives you an additional charge of your heal. So you can have five heals now. Consummate Expert, that gives you 10% to the ship's detectability. Add that on top of the um, Consummate Module, that's going to get your tech detectability down now to around 14 kilometers, which is still quite large, but given what German battleships normally run, especially like the GK with its 15.7 concealed with a secondary build, it is a bit better and it can help you disengage a lot easier than you would be able to in the GK or the Prussia without it being equipped. And of course, fire prevention, that will cut your chance of causing of uh, catching on fire down by another 10% and reduce the maximum amount of fires on your ship down to 3 instead of 4. 
Then lastly, takes basics of survivability, which again further decreases the flooding and fire recovering time by 15%, and also decreases the restoration time of your modules by 15% as well. So, with all this on the ship now, you have just this incredibly tanky ship with armor that is definitely darn good enough to where you can stay stern to the enemy and with the improved turret angles on the Prussia you can get all eight of those guns on the targets so much easier than you could with the GK. If you take the GK into battle and try to do what you're seeing here you're going to have to expose most of your side to the enemy team and definitely enough to where you can get chunked by most of the tier 10 battleships especially with how we're getting more and more big 18 inch gun battleships that again you know they're reducing big guns they have great pins on them so the ability to stay this sharply angled into the enemy team is a godsend for your prussia so you have a 21.1 second reload time on your prussia now your dispersion is down to 247 meters at 20.6 kilometers and that's just it's it's so 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 good with the DPM now funny enough you should watch I'm not sure exactly where we're starting in the, uh, the, the, the match that I had before this recording session um, I, I do get like absolutely screwed over with RNG on the Republic that God I, I'm sure some of it was of course my aiming too I'm not the best shot in the game but man this Republic he baguette armored me so much in this match, but because of the reload of the guns at 21.1 seconds base before AR kicks in, you can afford to, of course, have a little funky dispersion when your guns are probably only five or six seconds away from reloading by the time your shells get to the target. So that's great, and these are, again, 457 millimeter 18 inch guns with German AP. These guns hurt. You'll see when I can finally get the shells to connect on targets, they punch and they punch hard. They'll they'll chunk battleships broadside for uh, without citadels easily for 20k. If you just get a shell to to pin and then a couple more to either pin or well, you know, you guys know how sometimes they pin and they do like 2,000 damage or whatever. As long as you get three or four shells to land on the target somewhere on the ship, you're doing around 15 to 20k, and of course if you Citadel, that's 15k right there from just one shell. So you have some fantastic firepower here that you can go to the all flank, get stern in, kite, and bait them, because you're a German battleship, everyone wants to shoot you. German battleships have their reputations for, of course, having incredibly inaccurate guns, but you have these 18-inch guns that are... Uh, better in terms of accuracy for the German battleships that have an amazingly fast reload time with this build on it and you can just punish the crap out of them and uh, you, you guys know that have played German battleships you're always like the first one to get targeted because you're in a massive ship so now you can use that to your advantage and bait these shells toward you and by the end of this match I had I believe maybe 150k off of 3 million potential damage with the Prussia which it's pretty darn good for a single match and the fact that I was still alive at the end of it all and of course you still have the hydroacoustic search that you can use to spot torpedoes that may be being thrown at you from a flanking DD now of course your secondaries aren't anywhere near as accurate with this build but the painful truth like we talked about yesterday with Sean Horst's uh, video is that you, you unfortunately don't really get into secondary situations too much anymore at higher tier. It still happens and it's a blast when it does happen, but this isn't really the ship to build into secondaries for, unless you're playing something like the Dirigible Derby. And if you're playing Dirigible Derby, absolutely build into the secondaries in the Prussia. Put those secondary uh, modules on there, put those secondary skills on your commander especially sla slap luchin's on there too if you got him when you go into dirigible derby and then yeah absolutely when you can monkey like that and get into secondary range yeah the ship's freaking great for it then but the reality is tier 10 doesn't really go that way too much anymore but if you have the gk you still have the gk and it's a special ship now so build that ship for secondaries that is a good secondary ship and it's being battery guns certainly cannot do this so it forces you to play um closer a bit and unfortunately the ship is out of meta for that but yes the prussia is much better being played like this than a secondary focused traditional german battleship it fits in the meta a lot more it's much more comfortable to play. You can do a great service to your team by being on the all-flake, 
kiting, tanking, taking away shells that would go toward your enemy team. Every shell that you see me uh, you see me dodge or hit or, or get hit by here that's one less shell going toward my teammates that are thankfully in this match getting it done which is unfortunately getting rarer and rarer by the day at high tier matches in the game now so you can do a great service to your team and do what you're supposed to do in a battleship and tank and yes the ship can still push it's not like because you build into the main battery guns you can't push you absolutely still can the armor is still fantastic at close range and once you see the need to turn around and push on the flank since you're stern in just gun the ship into full ahead and flip around you see me do that a couple of times here to charge the enemy team and, and kind of keep them at bay as much as i could because if they got past me they were going to get our cv next and they, this was a super cv match by the way um if you didn't notice that and that was uh an experience to say the least so yes um and, and the matches that i played in the pressure like this it's easy 150 170 thousand damage in tier 10 matches which is quite good because you can again you can still just lob eight 18 inch shells toward the enemy team every 20 freaking seconds in, in no time you're below 19 seconds on the main battery guns in this ship because it is still a german ship and at long range it does still eat a fair bit of damage but much less than the gk would in the, the same situation if you're trying to get your main battery guns on target so shoot 19 seconds really isn't far away in this ship for a reload time on eight 18 inch guns and again I, i'm repeating myself there a lot but that's how crazy this ship is like just let that sink in on 19 second reload on eight 18 inch guns that's one of the best um rpm rates on tier 10 battleships in the game currently so this is how i recommend you guys play your prussia uh just Go to the off flank or the flank that looks like a, uh, that looks like it's collapsing. Get stern into the objective or wherever the team's at, uh, the enemy team's at. Tank for your team. Continue to just throw 18-inch shells at the enemy team. Uh, make them pay with showing you broadsides. And good God, if you connect these shells on a cruiser, uh, they are going to fill it. You know, we get that great 30 uh, millimeter overmatch on these guns, which is a big pickup over the GK. So let them feel the pain. Go out there, lads, with the pressure, with this knowledge, and just have a good time. It, it's a really f enjoyable experience to actually have a tier 10 German battleship that can do more than just monkey push like the Schlieffen or the GK was forced to do. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope this video helps you out in your Prussia plays. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. One away to 35,000 subs. Just passed 33,400 a few days ago, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.